What is going on everybody? In this video, I want to go over the ending sequence of the semi-final matchup from the B-Dubs Bowl 2 playoffs between Ghost, Madden, and Skimbo. In particular, uh, this final play right here. So Ghost on offense, down 3, 4th and 11, with the Titans basically make or break it. He converts, he keeps his drive alive in his hopes of making it to the finals alive as well. He doesn't get it, and Skimbo goes to the championship game. So right here... On offense, you see Gun Bunch to the right for Ghost Madden. You see Dollar on defense from Skimbo now. Interesting from Skimbo, he had been running basically nothing but Big Dime, Slant Zone 2 the entire game. So interesting to me that he went to uh, this Dollar setup on 4th and 11, basically the biggest play of the game. Now, if you know Skimbo, if you've watched him in the past, basically what he likes to do is run DB Fire 2 press stock, right? So he'll blitz both outside corners. He'll spy this defensive tackle, and then he'll use her, say, this linebacker, but everything else is stock. So vertical hook, you got two deep zones, cover two shell, and then soft squats on the outside. So if you're Ghost, that's basically what I'd be looking for. Um, it, now, if you're Skimbo and Ghost comes out gun bunch on 4th and 11, uh, you basically can rule out corner strike, which is nice, which I think is the best play in the game because the corner strike route concept is just not deep enough. You don't have to respect the flat routes on either side, so you can just play cloud flats, take away the C route, take away the corner route, and use her the middle, and you'll be good. Now, some route concepts I could be expecting from Ghost if I'm Skimbo here is maybe a PA post might be the first thing. Uh, maybe you go with the post route, a fade, and then maybe, I don't know, he puts Pitta on a slant, and then maybe he motions out rights and puts him on a... A smart routed in route that could be something I could see maybe some type of vertical setup you may maybe a max protect verticals where you go with a streak a wheel and then maybe a backside fade or in route maybe try to catch skimbo in a cover two look and get that wheel up the sideline from Jerry Rice um, another thought could be Z spot now skimbo or uh, ghost rather I don't think ran Z spot the entire game so if you're skimbo just based off that I probably wouldn't be expecting it but the last thing is maybe that bunch curl flat where DeAndre Hopkins runs that super deep corner route and maybe ghost goes with just a three a simple three-man flood the bunch is to the wide side of the field so that I think that is something that skimbo uh, does need to account for a backside maybe you put him on a fade or an in route so that's kind of what I'd be expecting if I were skimbo on defense right here from Ghost. So, going to go ahead, roll the clip. Now, something interesting to note, Skimbo just brought Dawkins up into the box. Now, Ghost is actually snapping the ball, so he doesn't have much time to, like, process that adjustment from Skimbo. But, if you are Ghost, I think you have to realize, okay, this is not going to be a cover two shell if he's bringing Dawkins that far up in the box. Because if it were a cover two shell and Dawkins' responsibility was to run all the way back there, if Ghost has this outside guy on a fade route, it's a touchdown. The, the only way it's not a touchdown is if that far left cornerback that's off the screen for Skimbo is either man-to-man -man assigned onto Ghost's receiver or he's in a deep zone. So, snap of the ball. Hard to process it that quickly, but I think you do have to say, okay, it's probably not cover two, uh, or probably not a cover two shell, rather. It's probably something, uh, you know, cover three, cover four base, maybe. So, snap of the ball, you see... And it's actually hilarious. Skimbo goes basically with a stock cover three. Now, he did get stuck on his defensive tackle here, but he basically goes with a stock cover three, you know, on the most important play of the game, fourth and 11 here. You see three deep coverage right here, deep thirds all the way across the field. You see on the outside, these could basically be either curl flats or cloud flats. And then you see basically two hook curls over the middle and Skimbo getting caught on his defensive tackle. So Skimbo rushed forward, tried to get this corner off the edge, tried to send the blitz, but got picked up from Ghost. Now Ghost on offense, the reason he did pick up that blitz is because he went with the max protect. So he blocks seven and it looks like so he's got a three-man route, so he put a fade on the outside, and then on the right side, it looks like he went to a play called Mesh Post. Now, he hadn't run this play all game, so good mix-up from Ghost. Definitely something that Skimbo couldn't really be expecting. I mean, it's it's a pretty niche play as it is, along with the fact Ghost never ran it the entire game, so there's no way Skimbo could expect this. Uh, but Ghost went with the Max Protect to put the point man on an in route, and then you've got this post route that's going to cross the field behind it. Now, watch Skimbo's user on this play. It's actually, uh, it's beautiful right here. So he gets stuck on the defensive tackle, but he realizes where he needs to go, right? Look where he's at now with this defensive tackle. If Skimbo had not made that play and peeled back, recognized the route concept. So he got stuck on the defensive tackle. He had to realize, okay, I'm stuck on my DT. I need to turn around and get to whatever route is threatening to be open over the middle of the field. He identified the route 
basically immediately on a play that Ghost had never really run uh, the entire game. Now, it is kind of, you know, Ghost only really had one route. You know, I, I'm assuming that outside fade route on the left was a swerve guy, uh, maybe as a last effort. And then uh, the other guy was on an in route over the middle, so Skimbo didn't really have to worry about him as much. But still, fantastic play by Skimbo getting back. Uh, to this ball right here you can see skimbo trying to make a play now if skimbo were not there if that if this defensive tackle were not in the frame and w this guy did not exist ghost would easily be able to just possession catch this ball and go down and probably end up converting for the first down but because skimbo's receiver or skimbo's defensive tackle rather was in the vicinity you're going to see ghost has to go for the aggressive catch and the ball ends up getting swatted out by skimbo's defenders as they rally towards it now something else i do want to point out here is that uh if the video will not mess up but something here now ghost is throwing the ball to that post route right now which is i think is a fine read skimbo just made a fantastic play Something to note, Ghost did go with the playmaker right here. He playmakered this in route that was crossing the field back across the field. So he's going to be heading back, you know, that way. And that's something to note here. Skimbo's user is fully committed to that post route. So if Ghost had noticed that, Ghost probably would have been able to go ahead and squeeze in that in route. As you can see right there, he's pretty much wide open. If I can try and go ahead and rewind just a little bit more here. You can see he's he's basically wide open right here. He he would have easily been able to throw this, get a rat catch, and maybe get back upfield and get that first down. Really, the only person he would have had to worry about is this this uh, soft squat all the way on the outside out there, trying to come in and and make a play on the outside. But I think Skimbo or I think Ghost would have had no problem picking up that first down right there if uh, if he had made that throw instead. But uh, hindsight's 2020. It's hard to make throws like that and make reads like that under pressure. I completely understand. It was a fantastic game from both players. Obviously, 2017 in overtime, uh, down to the wire. Uh, definitely two fantastic players. Obviously, Skimbo uh, been celebrated all year. Probably the most consistent player. And Ghost, definitely an up-and-comer and excited to see what he does in Madden 18. But hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what I can do better for next time. And until next time, guys, take it easy.